Well, we picked up a straggler all the way from Idaho here today. Josh Coons, welcome to Arizona again. Thank you. How does yeah. it feel? You know, it feels good, but it would have felt better with more than three and a half hours of sleep. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a struggle getting here. Yeah. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. It's true. And uh, rumor has it, guys with the name of Josh have a, a leg up in this, in this little competition with is, the uh, It is an un unfair advantage. <laughs> I'm so, I feel like I'm surrounded by Josh's right now. Oh, that's because you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way I'm looking at this now, so I've been getting my, my butt handed to me so far by these coups. So if we actually see one, we can do like the old Brad Josh pincer move like we've done before. Yeah, there you go. We just like just pincer down and that way if I'll push, you know, if they run any direction, we're just like, we'll be able to have an opportunity. So, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to watching that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, the time I was down here a couple years ago, every time, not every time, several times I moved in on deer, I really wished I had somebody at what seemed like the logical outlet where the, the stock went the poorly. Escape, yeah. yeah. I feel like you out. also hit it well because yesterday we saw definitely saw like the most running activity we've seen so far so I feel like you're hitting you're coming in at like the right time I'm also coming at the right time because it was snowing sideways in Idaho when I left yesterday <laughs> so glad we're not there right now <laughs> definitely first impressions this is super interesting country beautiful Prickly. Definitely very prickly country. See, there's a really the biggest round juniper. Yep. Right above it. See, there's that like little depression, that little cut. Yeah, I think so. But there's one. There were two. At least two are just frolicking in there. He's acting like a bug. Yeah. They're smaller bugs on on what I've nicknamed Devil Mountain because the winds there must have been created by the devil because they're always switching. Good sign so far. I I lived a part of my childhood in New York, so I was used to city. This so when I came out here, I moved out here when I was nine, and what I saw, what I had never seen a mountain before ever. And as you're driving down the highways in Arizona, you'll see like off in the distance, like these just big mountains that come up, you know. And I thought that was the, the coolest thing ever. It is an absolute privilege to be able to come out here and hike for four or five miles and go sleep with nobody around and glass for coos deer. And he's just staring. Yeah. On, on either slope or the same same Same, same slope. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's a pretty good, that, that was definitely bigger. Big, bigger body on them. They're literally running, and now there's a doe chasing after them because she just wants in on the action. That's another buck. That's a small Is buck. Yeah, yeah. So now there's three bucks chasing one doe. That was hilarious, man. That's the best running action I've seen all day. Oh, and then there's another one. Let's just get over there, walk into the bar, see if anybody notices us. He's like, you just, I'm gonna let you, you do what you want, and I'm just gonna, like, I'll do whatever you don't want to do. This is his way of like letting me pick like the worst option. <laughs> That's three deer, one, two, three. These are gonna be our uh, our signal flags here. Two means like just you've messed up everything. Everything is just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Just like go home back to Idaho. Don't ever come back to Arizona. Uh, in reach at noon. Okay. If 
nothing's happened before that. Okay. I'll set an alarm. Uh, All right. Okay. Oh, I All of the bucks uh, that we're looking at over in front of us here where Brad is going, they're all still in the general vicinity. One buck is down low feeding, which I, I hope Brad sees him because he's in a perfect spot. Uh, the other bucks are a little bit above that. We still haven't seen Brad come up from the bottom yet. The hard part is, is he it's so thick over there, he could be over there and we don't even know. So Josh is over to our left and he just came up over this ridge and now he's he's kind of sitting there watching the face across him because we had deer uh, two bucks over there this morning so just trying to bounce back and forth watch these guys and hopefully uh, hopefully one of them can fling an arrow into a coos <laughs> man that buck just chased that doe all the way down the hill now they're going back up now they're going back down now Brad has taken his boots off and the bucks are beneath, right beneath him so he, I think he's going to start sneaking down on I saw you knock an arrow. Did you think you got close enough? I wasn't sure if you were trying to kill that buck or hitch a ride back to the <laughs> <laughs> he, he got so close, we were, we were wondering if the buck was even still there. We are like, he should have busted. I was watching, I had, I could see you both in my binos at the same time. Yeah. Really? No, yeah. You were 12, 14 yards? I was close. I thought it was like 20. Yeah, 25 maybe, it was, but it was close. It was super close. There's like seven times I'm like, oh, that buck was seen. This buck, like, look up and start snapping. And then go, <laughs> start gnawing on the bushes. Like, are you kidding me? Well, we lost one of our uh, team members today. Josh Kirchner had to had to head home. So now we only have uh, we're down to one Josh in our group here. It's gonna make it a lot less confusing. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier to talk to people. It's raining right now. It could be good both for the rut and just to quiet things down. Which is kind of so. We'll see how that plays out. We've had a lot of like close calls. I think it's really important and like after this many days of hunting and like close calls, especially for me yesterday, you just gotta like keep that positive attitude and keep your confidence just knowing that you can make it happen still. He's a dandy. He's the one, two, three, he's got like four points. Got a decent little buck. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, with coos, they're all kind of small, but <clears throat> by coos standards, compared to what we've seen, he's a nice buck. He's just over there. 
Just mowing on barrel cactus, being a coos, getting all koozy. One thing I've noticed is that if you try and get in on them from below, good luck. All right, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Despite the challenges I'd faced on one stock after another on multiple coos bucks, I couldn't help but revel in the experience of hunting in the warmth of the desert sun in January. While the mountains I loved to hunt back home in Idaho remained locked in the deep freeze of winter. Wiley Coos deer have character, and it became increasingly clear how much I'd fallen for pursuing these gray ghosts of the Arizona Sky Islands. Oh, he's back again. Oh, he's drawing again. He's full draw. I think he just shot again. He just shot. Oh, there he is. There's the deer. There's the deer. Yeah. Come on, Brad. Turn that fucking camera off, but oh boy! Generally a pretty positive person, but after that, it's really hard to stay positive. That was like everything you could ask for, man. Fifty yards, and my arrow struck. I think it hit the hit a manzanita branch. He was standing behind, he was like halfway behind a manzita bush. And he was a big buck too. I got a second shot, but it wasn't as good. And I, both shots missed. I missed him. Got both arrows. Watched him walk away. Oh. When Brad was on his stock over here. We saw a little group of deer feed off the back of a knoll. Didn't get a great glimpse. 
I'm not sure if there's a buck in the group. I don't think there was, but they haven't come out of the next fold, so I'm gonna go sneak around, come over the top of the ridge, and take a peek down in there and put a little sock on them and see what we find. There's, there's something about the challenge of hunting these things that like I there's no doubt I'll be back down here hunting them and it's also just fun to hunt in a landscape that looks and feels just utterly different than what I'm used to yeah no I'll definitely be back this won't be the last time I hunt hunt goose deer in the desert As our hunt began to wind down to its ultimate conclusion and the possibility that I'd be going home empty-handed became more of a certainty, I couldn't help but reflect on lessons learned. Hunting coos deer with a bow and arrow is hard, full stop. Coos deer are a special kind of critter. Wary, jittery, will spook at just about anything, including the wind. All right, we got our last full day of hunting. Yesterday was like one of the biggest all day rainstorms I've hunted in for a long time. So everything is soaking wet, all the gear, the ground, which is good. Um, makes stocking conditions really nice. So I'm gonna try not to uh, focus too much on the miss I had yesterday. Josh and I are going to do the same game plan, go up to our same lookout, try and find a buck and uh, or two, make a play on them. So we will see what happens. New day, new opportunities. You go out and you get so close, but it doesn't work out. You're like, dang it, you know, but the experience you had was so awesome. And then you go out again, you get a little closer and then it doesn't happen again and it, it's just like it's like almost like a tease coos deer hunting so i think that's kind of why coos kind of grabbed my attention so much plus we we're doing it we're still doing our patented pincher move <laughs> Pan, patented coos broke and pincher what, move what i'm likely to do if something doesn't work out where i see deer moving is go I'm to the top to work the top and go over to where i saw that buck yeah. Bump out the other day. It's not really a saddle, but it seems to be kind of a main crossing. Yeah. Kind of by where the sun is just going. Yeah, yeah, I see. I thing. see what you're talking about. I wanted another crack at these gray ghosts and soon. And I really love these wild sky islands they call home. That's a hell of a way to close out the day. See if you have Alina. <sighs> no dead deer today, but it's another beautiful day in paradise. I think I might just sit here and enjoy the sunset. Half a morning left tomorrow. This is our last hoorah. If I'm lucky, I'll get one more chance on a buck. We can find one. But it wouldn't be the last time, or the first time, that I pulled something out at the very end. <sighs> what a fun trip. Well, in the end, the coos got the upper hand. I'm gonna pack up and head out of here. This is the end of our trip. It's been a lot of fun here in Arizona. I will definitely be back because this is beautiful country and this is a really fun hunt, but it is not going to happen this trip. So hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. <laughs>